Take a look at this picture of a giant octopus that supposedly washed up on a beach in Indonesia. Do you think it's real or fake? What about this picture of Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook, walking the runway at a fashion show? Or how about this castle on an island that's supposed to be in Ireland? Is this one real? All of these images are fake, but a lot of people viewed them and shared them thinking that they were real. Images can be manipulated in different ways. Some people use Photoshop or create them using AI tools. And it's hard to tell if a picture is authentic just by looking at it. Pictures that are real can also be missummarized, miscaptioned, and taken out of context so that it seems like they represent one thing when they really represent something else entirely. So just like we need to be careful when we come across different claims online, we also need to be careful when we come across images that seem unusual or surprising. The good news is that with a few simple steps, you can often find where an image came from so you can learn whether it's real or fake and what it's all about. Let's look at an example. Here's a photo of cars stuck on a snowy road. It's part of a tweet that's captioned with the claim that because of the cold temperatures, a bunch of electric cars ran out of battery and ended up blocking a highway in Germany. That's not great. If electric cars can't take a bit of cold weather, that would cast doubt on the viability of transitioning away from gas-powered cars to electric vehicles. This tweet is making a pretty significant claim, but I don't know anything about the account. We come across pictures in this way all the time. Stuff from people we don't recognize shows up on our feed, and because it's interesting or maybe a bit shocking, it's tempting to like it, share it, and comment on it. Now, you could spend a lot of time looking really closely at this image to try to determine if those really are electric cars and if they really are in Germany, and you'd probably end up reaching no conclusions at all. So instead of looking really closely, I'm gonna show you a quick trick that will help us answer two really important questions. First, is the photo real? And second, if it is real, is it showing what it claims to show? To get these answers, we're gonna do a reverse image search. This allows us to look up an image using a search engine or other program and try to figure out where it came from. Doing a reverse image search is gonna look a little bit different depending on the device that we're using and whether we're using a browser or an app. If you're using Google Chrome, you can just right click on an image and click search image with Google. What happens is the Google Lens panel pops up and you can see a lot of other places where this image shows up online, as well as images that look like it. We can also do a couple of things here to find more results. We can expand this box here to cover the whole image and we can also click on find image source. Right away, we see that our picture has shown up in a lot of places online and that it's also been attached to different stories in different countries and in different years. Scrolling down, we find that it actually dates back all the way to February of 2011 to a blizzard in Chicago. Since then, it's been made available to purchase as a stock image, which is probably why it's showing up in so many places online. Now, if you're not working on a device that gives you the option to do a Google search when right-clicking, we can still use Google's image searching tools. To do this, we can go to images.google.com and click on search by image. Here we can do a couple of things. We can copy the address of the image and paste it into the search box, or we can download or take a screenshot of the image that we're interested in and upload it to Google. If you're not a Google person, there are other sites out there like TinEye that can also look up images for you. And if you're using your phone, there's a couple of things that you can do. If you're using Chrome, you can either long press on an image to bring up a menu and click on search image with Google, and if you come across an image on social media where you can't copy the URL of the image, you can always take a screenshot and then upload it to the Google app. No matter which way we search for this image, we'll get the same results. This is not a picture of electric cars breaking down in Germany. It's a picture of traffic during a nasty blizzard in the US. Now the photo itself is real. It wasn't created by Photoshop or AI, but it certainly isn't what the original tweet claimed. This is an example of false context. It's a real image, but the story or claim that's been attached to it is made up. Sometimes people can accidentally attach a false claim to an image because they think that it represents something that it doesn't, but others can do so intentionally to try to deceive people. 
Either way, when we see a picture accompanied by a surprising claim, we need to make sure that the claim represents the picture. Let's look at another example. Often when images go viral, we can count on journalists and professional fact checkers to do the work of establishing proper context for us. Take this image, shared on Reddit, which appears to show an elderly woman and a giant cat she crocheted. This picture is great, but is it real? We could spend a lot of time looking really closely at the pixels and debating whether there are signs that the picture has been manipulated, but instead we can just do a quick reverse image search to learn more about it. For this example, let's use Google Images. We'll right click on the picture and select copy image address. Next, go to Google Images and click on the camera icon on the right side of the search bar. Then we'll paste the image address into the box and press enter. Next, we'll click find image source. You can see a lot of results. Now we wanna to try to avoid social media, so no Facebook, no Reddit. But to find a more authoritative source, sometimes we will need to do a little bit of digging. If we click on the bottom here where it says more exact matches, we'll find a source that we recognize, Snopes, a reputable fact-checking organization. We're taken to an article called, Are These Real Pics of Elderly Women with Giant Crochet Cats? We quickly learn that the answer to this question is no. Snopes rates this and similar images as fake, and if we read a little bit further, we can see that they were created by an artist using AI on Instagram. The Snopes article then goes on to highlight different parts of the image that it says gives away that it's an AI-generated picture. You may have seen a lot of advice like this online with people telling you that you should look for things like extra limbs or weird hands or faces if you want to determine if something is AI or not. And while sometimes it can be really obvious that an image is fake because somebody has too many arms, other times it's basically impossible to tell if something is AI generated or not just by using the naked eye. AI technology is rapidly improving and a lot of people were fooled by these images even if there were some of those telltale signs present. So we need to be really careful. Don't just look closely at an image to try to find things that are weird or abnormal, do some quick research and see what other people are saying about it. One thing to know about reverse image searches is that they don't work for every image, and they won't always lead you to reliable sources. So if you try doing a reverse image search and you can't find any good information, try doing a quick keyword search instead with words that describe the image. So for example, doing a Google search for giant crochet cats shows us a lot of places where these pictures appear online and give us some more information about them. There are a lot of images online and we can't check every single one of them. But when you see an image that's unusual or has a controversial claim attached to it, take a second to do a reverse image search and see if you can find out where it came from.